Well, electrifying indeed. I've started making the gantries for the overhead wires. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Okay, welcome back. Now, when I mentioned the fact I was going to start making the gantries, there are a few people who are very interested in how I was going to go about doing that. And as you can probably imagine, they're going to be 3D printed. So what I've done is I've taken two of the outside sides. Um, just in case you wondered, these are the ones that are going to sit on top of the platform canopies and there'll be a little bit that sticks out from the bottom. So <laughs> they're not going to, well, because the trains will bash into that, will it? <laughs> so no, that will sit on top of the platform canopies like this. <laughs> kind of a bit like uh, that. So when that's complete and there'll be a leg bit which goes down bottom of each of those two there. And obviously there'll be another one that comes across here. Kind of like that, but this one's a little bit on the long side for that. Side. So um, basically, I've got two sides. So obviously, there's, um, when they printed, you can see there's one side which is slightly rough, and one side which is smooth. And the reason for that is because I've put them on a raft. This plastic bit at the bottom. So um, when I do finer details, it's so much easier to put them on a raft. Um, because they tend to come out a lot better. Um, whereas if I put that straight onto the bed, getting it off the bed would be quite difficult. Uh, whereas it's not difficult to get it off that. So all I do then is I just, hopefully you can see this, slip this scalpel in the side, being very careful, obviously. And do one side. So I work from the middle, I work outwards very gently. And there it is. That's the piece there. It's a couple of bits to um, take off it but generally speaking that's that's about it and the rafty bit then can go in the bin so these bits here are for those angle bits just there like that these bits um, are for one to go on the outside and the other one to go on the inside and obviously the same at both ends and obviously that bit like I said goes across the angle there this bit here goes on the bottom side of that big bit there and that bit goes on the top. So you might be looking, well, what, why are they different? Um, because obviously this bit would join up with that bit there on the corner and make an angle like that. And um, I think it would just look better from that point of view. So let me get set up with some paper on the table and I'll show you what that's for in a minute and I'll show you how I've got them. Right, to, you, to glue them together I use super glue and I tend to use this stuff from Screwfix. Obviously the brand you choose is the brand you choose and I put a little dollop on there. Incidentally, as a little tip for you, I used to buy super glue and then find at the end would get all mangled up and you know blocked and all sorts. And then I saw a tip on the internet, never put the top on, leave it open, and I'll tell you what, it works. Um, it does get blocked from very occasionally, but it's just a case of getting the nut, getting the scalpel and just chipping it off. That bit sort of like that. It just takes it just takes a little bit of stuff that gathers around the top. And you can see it's a lovely hole in there. So maybe give it a go if you want to. Now, so what I do with this is I turn the smooth side down like that. And I will do this one. So again, I want the smooth side in the mid inside. And I literally just wipe across it like that, like so. And this one's going to that point. Hopefully you can see. And uh, it is a little bit tricky to get it straight. So forgive me if my hand is in the way. Oops. Kind of like that, and just a gentle press on the top. Because the other thing I'm trying to do is to line up the actual girders themselves, if you can see that. So this one is lined up with that one, all the points meet together. 
it won't obviously on this side because they it will be actually it will a little bit won't it or will it no it won't no it won't but um anyway that's that's one and i'll fit all the sides now and all the other pieces and i'll come back and show you in a minute right so that's that bit there um and you can see um i'll pos i've put a little dollop of super glue on all the little joints just to make it a little bit extra strong um, but i'm quite pleased with the way that's come together the first one didn't glue down quite properly so i had to go kept going over it and weighting certain bits down but that's the way it goes i suppose different ones will react differently and then it's a case of gluing all of that and putting it on there like so There it is. So that's obviously just the top bit, and there's another bit to go down below the canopy itself. And obviously, I need to put the registration arms on. But again, I'm quite happy with that. I think once it's been all rusted up as well, it'll look fine. So I will get the rest done, and I'll talk to you later. All right, welcome back. Now, these are pictures I took uh, a few years ago when I actually went to Manchester Piccadilly. Now, a lot of the gantries, um, some of the ones that are older are quite rusty, um, particularly this one here. And there's another one going across there. That is very rusty. These ones are less so. There's a bit of rust coming down the side there, and there's a tiny bit of rust on this one as well, which has got slopey sides. But the ones at the other end of the platform i.e. this one. Um, this one is on platform 13 and 14, as you probably can see from there, but they look newer um, and therefore a lot cleaner. I don't think they'll have been painted, but they certainly don't have anywhere near the level of rust on that the ones closer to the big canopies do. So I'll reflect that in what I do. So let's go back to the workbench and I'll show you what I'm going to do to finish those ones off. When you see it on the layout like that, it does look very fresh and um, not right. It doesn't look right at all. So it needs dulling down. So I'm just going to use the null oil and just give this a bit of a scoosh over. I like that word, scoosh. <laughs> uh, got to laugh at me. So I won't make you sit here and watch the whole process, but uh, not like this anyway. But I'll, I'll come back in a minute when I've done it. Right, so that's that. Now I'm just going to let that dry and I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so you can see I've got one of the, the gantry that I showed you at the very beginning that I stained down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some rust colours. So I'm going to use some of that and a tiny, tiny little bit of that in the paper in. So on the brush and then get as much off as possible, dry brushing. And then literally just dab on, oh, perhaps I'll have a little bit more than that. Not a lot, just sort of dab it on, so to speak. Okay, and the other one. Now if I show, if you remember, I showed you they were quite um, rusty. <laughs> a bit like this paint. <laughs> Hopefully it'll have blended back together. Oh yeah, <laughs> all gloopy now. There we go. <laughs> it's like chocolate, isn't it? No, I'm not going to be eating it. So I'll dab it a bit on there. Really don't want large amounts, but then it's a bit too much. But it's just the indication. You can like you can always wipe it back. Sort of, and uh, just dab it on. Going with a bit of this, and you can go in with different browns if you want to, um, just to sort of give some colour variation. I think it'd be a good thing to do, but all very dry brush and let the, let the bristles do the work, so they're all splayed out a little bit, as you can see. So I will probably put another couple of colours on that, um, another couple of browns, um, but that will be pretty much it for that one. I haven't put the registration arms on yet. I just haven't got the time to make them. 
Um, so I'll explain a bit more about that when we come to do the reveal, if you like. We'll see in a bit. Well, it certainly changes the outlook on things, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just pan you up and down. I mean, obviously, we're getting closer now. They're not all in yet, by any means. And as I said earlier in the video, they still need the registration arms on. But it's the first process or first part of the process. I remember when the Corby line was electrified, the gantries went up first and then they started to put the arms on afterwards. But it's definitely getting there. Well, we're certainly one step nearer now. And uh, so I've still got some more gantries to make. Um, it's a shame actually, I did have a problem with the 3D printer, otherwise I'd have probably got them done. But uh, that's the way life is. And um, I've obviously got the registration arms to make on all the gantries. None of them have got them, apart from those on platform 13 and 14. Those ones have got them. So I've got those to make for these. And um, then it's a case of the signals. And then we're pretty much done on the, on the station. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. I've just, some of you may remember, I said I was starting a new job. And I don't know how long planning with my own class is going to take so it really does depend on all of that it will depend on how quickly this can get finished but I'll do as much as I can when I can all right I'll know a bit more hopefully soon all right I'll say bye-bye now you just take care of yourself bye for now